birth to the king who rules heaven and earth forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communi communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Today's Mass is being offered for Joseph Louis Fernandez. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant. Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Jesus had been taken up to heaven, the apostles returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey away. When they entered the city, they went to the upper room where they were staying. Peter and John James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, son of Alphaeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas, son of James. All these devoted themselves with one accord to prayer, together with some women, and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brothers. The word of the Lord. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. His foundation upon the holy mountains, the Lord loves. The gates of Zion, more than any dwelling of Jacob. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. And of Zion they shall say, One and all were born in her. And he who has established her is the Most High Lord. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. They shall know 
when the peoples are enrolled. This man was born there. All shall sing in their festal dance. My home is within you. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. Virgin who gave birth to the Lord, Alleluia. O oh, blessed Mother of the Church, who nurture in us the Spirit of your Son Jesus Christ, Alleluia. 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 Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Cleopas and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and the, the disciple, the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. After this, aware that everything was now finished, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled, Jesus said, I thirst. There was a vessel filled with common wine. So they put a sponge soaked in wine on a spring of hyssop and put it up to his mouth. When Jesus had taken the wine, he said, It is finished. And bowing his head, he handed over the spirit. Now, since it was preparation day, in order that the bodies might not remain on the cross on the Sabbath, for the Sabbath day of that week was a solemn one, the Jews asked Pilate that their legs be broken and they be taken down. So the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first, and then of the other one who was crucified with Jesus. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. But one soldier thrust his lance into his side, and immediately blood and water flowed out. The Gospel of the Lord.
gospel is one of my favorite stories from the gospel. It applies because my first assignment was St. John the Evangelist Parish in Hopkinton. Very, there's a very beautiful statue outside that church of Jesus on the cross with Mary on one side and the beloved disciple on the other. Every time I would see it, it was something very beautiful to see. <clears throat> Even though we think the cross is something full of grief and something awful, but at the same time, it was a sign of the church. Mary, who is the mother of the church, was there at Jesus' death. And the beloved disciple, John, sees Mary at that moment as his mother. And so, we can see how Mary is the mother of the church. It, see, it means that Jesus' mission would continue that Jesus' mission would not stop. You may know that in the prayers for Christian burial, there's one line in the Eucharistic prayer that says, life is changed, not ended with death. We experience that when our, a loved one passes away, our hearts are broken. But it doesn't mean their life, their death ending, doesn't mean that life ends and, or the mission ends. And the church is always this kind of sign of hope in the midst of death that we can persevere and that the mission can continue no matter what happens. We need to help people have hope for heaven. So may our mission always continue, even when death happens, which is a change, not an end, so that we can be there for all our brothers and sisters and we can help them to look up to heaven with hope. Let us pray. For the Pope's monthly intention, we pray that church movements and groups may rediscover their mission of evangelization each day, placing their own chrysomims at the service of needs in the world. We pray to the Lord. For Bishop Sean, that he inspires people to follow him into religious life, living out the evangelical counsels via the vows of poverty, chastity, in obedience. We pray to the Lord. For a time of special joy and friendship with Jesus for Olivia, Shane, Isla, and Lily, who recently made their first communion and for a candidate for adults confirmation granted. 
we pray to the Lord. For all who are sick and in distress in any way, especially those listed in the bulletin, we pray to the Lord. For the repose of the souls of the faithful departed, especially Rick Johnson and our soldiers who laid down their lives that we might be free. We pray to the Lord. And for this morning's Mass, for the repose of the soul of Joseph Louis Fernandez. We pray to the Lord. Father, we thank you for hearing all the prayers we offer. Answer them according to your will. In Jesus' name, amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be found acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that, through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the Mother of of your Son. No petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary to proclaim your kindness as we echo her faithful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness, lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us, through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him, the hosts of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, 
heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Cardinal Sean, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember, also, your servant, and all the soldiers who have, you have called from this world to yourself, grant that they, who were united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unit of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us 
us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord, Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Blessed is the womb of the Virgin Mary, which bore the Son of the Eternal Father.
spray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.